I'm Drew Ferguson from Georgia, a member of the Water Resources and Environment Subcommittee in the United States Congress. The Water Resources Development Act, or WERDA, is essential legislation that enables improvements to our nation's water infrastructure, strengthens our economy, and bolsters our competitiveness around the world. Without WERDA, we could not make any of the necessary investments for the general upkeep and modernization of our ports, harbors, dams, inland waterways, flood protection, or other water infrastructure. Thanks to regular two-year consideration and reforms passed by Congress in 2014 and 2016, WERDA now delivers for America. Here's an example of why WERDA works for America's infrastructure and economy. Located in the southern corner of the state of Georgia, is situated about 100 miles closer to Atlanta than any other port. The Port of Savannah is the largest single terminal in North America and the fourth busiest and fastest growing container port in the United States. With 30 cranes and 10,000 feet of contiguous berth space, the port can handle any cargo ship in the world, including the Post Panamax container ships, the largest cargo carriers in the world. Georgia's ports are an economic engine for the state and the nation, responsible for directly employing 180,189 people and supporting more than 439,000 total jobs throughout the region. In addition, the port generates significant income for Georgia's economy and is a critical part of the region's tax base, responsible for billions of dollars in federal, state, and local taxes. To maintain the Port of Savannah's critical role in the nation's economy and to attract more of the larger vessels transiting the newly expanded Panama Canal, the Georgia Ports Authority sought authorization for the Army Corps of Engineers to deepen its navigation channel from 42 to 47 feet. The Savannah Harbor Expansion Project was approved in the 2014 Water Resources Reform and Development Act and is now 50% complete. An updated project authorization is now necessary to complete the project and one of the many reasons that the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee is now developing the next Water Resources Development Act. The expansion project's economic impact is massive. Every dollar spent on the project will return more than seven dollars in benefits to the nation. With an annual cost savings of $282 million, the expansion project will produce more than $14 billion in benefits over its lifespan while supporting 2,400 new and local jobs. The Port of Savannah's success is America's success. The products that move through the port are made by Americans and consumed by them. The Water Resources Development Act enables our ports and waterways to remain economically viable. Simply put, water works.